How to get Office for free in 2020. Free Office from Microsoft? Yes, you did hear that right. In this video, we'll be looking at Office.com. Then, we'll jump into using the Windows 10 Office app and the Office app on your phone. As a bonus tip, at the end, I will show how students and teachers can get Office 365 education for free. For those that have not watched my previous video explaining Microsoft 365 versus Office 2019 versus Office on the web, please check it out to understand the differences, as many still refer to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. as Microsoft Office. But there is a difference now. Hi, I'm Steve Staves, and the goal of my videos is to help you make your computing experience easier and less stressful. Before you think I might be telling you how to obtain Microsoft Office for free by providing illegal copies, hacking license IDs, etc., this is not about that. This video is about how to legally use Office for free as provided by Microsoft. Now, why is Microsoft offering this legally for free? One word, competition. As it turns out, there are so many free Office alternatives like OpenOffice, WPS Office, Google Docs, LibreOffice, Zoho Docs, OnlyOffice, and so on. In order to stay ahead of the competition, Microsoft offers free Office programs to keep their customers. If you need more than basic document creation and editing capabilities, the free Office Online apps might not be for you. Getting access to the more advanced functionality requires investing in the Microsoft 365 suite. And the best way to do that is with a subscription. Now, office.com, you can get Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Because it's a web application that runs in your web browser, Office Online will run on everything from Windows PCs to Linux, Chromebooks, iPads, Android tablets, it doesn't require any special plugin and works on popular browsers, including Firefox, Chrome, Safari, not just Microsoft Edge. So let's have a look how to get Office online. Getting Office for free is quite an easy matter. Open up your web browser and go to office.com. Once you're at office.com, on the left-hand side here, you'll see the options of sign in, get Office, or sign up for the free version of Office. Click on sign up for the free version and here you have the option. You can either use an existing account that you have enabled with Microsoft, you can use a phone number, or you can get a new email address. Once you click on get a new email address, you have a choice of outlook.com or hotmail.com. And simply create yourself a new account, log into it to gain access to outlook.com. Or if you already have an account like I do, let's sign in with this. Already, because I'm synchronizing my account, you can see my favorites that I had saved automatically show up. In this case, it's office.com. And now instead of creating a new account, I'm gonna sign in with my existing account. And there we go. On the left-hand side here, you'll see all the products that you get. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive. Coincidentally, OneDrive, you actually have a five gigabyte account with Microsoft to store all of your documents that you create. So if we open up Word, it's very similar to the actual Office application. There are some limitations, so like I mentioned, if you do want extended capabilities, this version might not be for you. But if we open up a new document in Microsoft Word, you can see a lot of the options along the top here are very similar to what you would get in the actual app. Also, keep in mind with both the online version and the actual version. You have this little drop down on the right hand side here. That gives you your additional options in the ribbon. So if you find that you're missing stuff, click over to the right and either up, use this to go up or down to get additional options. When you save your document, it saves it onto your OneDrive account. In this case, I created a document with just generic text in it. And you do have all the normal editing that you would in the actual Office application. So it really is quite easy to use. Once you're done with your document, just save it. You can go back to your Office account, open up Excel, as you'll see, it's very similar as well. 
So again, just keep in mind that there are some limitations to the online version. So you have all the generic editing capabilities that you would in the full version. And most people, let's be honest, won't use all the extended or enhanced attributes in these programs. So for many, Office 365, the free version, is more than enough. If you don't want to always go onto the web, you can actually use the Office app that comes with Windows 10. Go to your Microsoft Store and do a search for Office. You'll most likely have to show all over here because there's a lot of apps in there that are relating to Microsoft Office. So scroll down this list until you see this particular icon right here. You have the Office browser extension and then you have the actual Office app. So when you click on the app, if you don't have it installed, you'll have an option to install it. But in my case, it's already installed. So if you click on Start, once you've installed it, scroll down, and here you'll see the actual Office app. So if you don't have, if you haven't gone online to create an account, you can do it from here, or you can sign in with that account that you've created. And there we go. The documents that I saved online, as you can see, are now available right here within the app, and the look is very similar to the actual online version. So if I open up any of these documents, it will go straight to the website, it will open it up, and of course you have to sign in as part of the security. And there you go, your apps, your documents, everything is available as if you were using the actual application. Similar thing, um, you can choose to save the files on your actual PC. If you do save them on your PC, like on your C drive or your doc, anywhere there, they will show up in this list, but they won't show up online. So just keep that in mind. If In order to, for it to show up online, you have to actually upload it so that it'll be in your OneDrive account. For an iPhone and an Android would work a similar way. Just go into your store and once you're in the store, click on or type in Office 365. Again, make sure you get the right icon. And if you already have the application installed, which I do, you can simply open it from here or install it, such as the case. Once it's installed, Scroll all the way over to your right-hand side of your iPhone and do a search in your app library for your Office 365. Sign into your account as I have done already. And as you can see, all the documents that I saved previously are currently in here. If I open up those documents, there we go. I have access to the online version of Word, Excel, Outlook, basically everything that you would on the online version. So as you can see, it's very customizable, very user-friendly, and definitely worth the price. In this case, it's free. As promised, I was gonna show you how students and teachers can get Office 365 for free. Open up your web browser and go to the following website. I will post this in the description box below, so no need to remember it here. It's an easy matter. Go to this website, enter your school email address, follow the prompts as it will verify your school and everything. Once you're signed in, you have full access to almost everything. If you scroll down this page all the way to right here where it says learning about, learn about pricing options. When you click on it, you can see exactly what's included. So for students, it's Office 365 A1 for free. And here's all the programs that you get. You get your Outlook, Word, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, OneNote, you even get an exchange, which is online email accounts. And for faculty and staff, you get the Office 365 A1 free, and a lot of options are in here. There's no reason as a student or a teacher why you wouldn't go here and sign up for free, because you can install it on your computer at work and on your computer at home. It's definitely worth it. When a company as big as Microsoft offers such great products for free, it only makes sense to jump on board and use those programs. Now that you know how to get them for free, please take advantage of what is out there and save yourself a few dollars that you might not need to spend on the full featured Office subscriptions or programs. And if you found this video helpful, 
please take a morning, moment to subscribe down below. It would certainly be appreciated. Thanks for stopping in and have a fantastic day.